Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Extraordinary Danielle. My name is Danielle and I'm so excited you joined me today because today I'm gonna to be doing a comparison video for you between the Gucci Marmont and the Saint Laurent Lulu Bag, both in the size small. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love comparison videos, even if the items being compared are items that I'm looking at purchasing in the near future. I think it's really interesting to find out all about the items, the similarities, the differences, the differences in price, and any other information the reviewer wants to share. So I really hope that this video will be informative and entertaining for you guys. And if you're interested in one or both of these items, it might help you be able to go forward and make some decisions about what you want to purchase. So if you're interested in either one or both of these items, hopefully this video will help you make some decisions about what to do moving forward and which bag would be the right choice for you. If you like videos that focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of luxury, then you're going to love it on my channel. I would love it if you're not already subscribed, if you would take Take a moment and hit that little red subscribe button right down there just hit that button ring the bell so you never miss a video I do post videos on a weekly basis and don't forget to like this video if you do like it and share it with someone that would enjoy the contents also you guys I would love it if you would take a minute and follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me there I do post weekly content on my Instagram page and I also do a weekly Instagram live stream on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and we just connect more casually over there I'm in my workout clothes typically with no makeup on usually right after teaching a class so it is a really casual comfortable way for us to connect I talk about my week I talk about anything that you guys want to talk about if you have topics or questions for me that you want me to talk about either DM me on Instagram or leave a comment in this video below and I would be glad to answer your questions talk about the topics that you guys want to talk about but it is really a fun way for me to connect with you over there so I'd love to do that if if we're not already connected on Instagram. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Today's comparison video, I wanna cover a brief history on each bag. I also wanna cover the similarities and differences in each bag. I also wanna talk about where this bag retails, both brand new and on the preload market. And I wanna talk about what kind of discounts you can get and how you get those discounts when you're looking at buying either of these bags brand new on the retail market. And of course, I'm gonna show you what I'm carrying in the bag that I'm currently using, and we'll talk about what fits. And lastly, I wanna tell you which bag I like better, and that's gonna be a hard one for me because I really love both of these bags. But let's talk about the history of the Gucci Marmont bag first. The Gucci Marmont bag originally debuted in the fall and winter season of 2016. Something interesting to note here is that the Gucci Marmont belt with the double GG logo was actually released and debuted in 2015, a year before the Gucci Marmont line of handbags was released. So I kind of wonder whether the release of the belt and the popularity of the belt at the time was really the springboard and really the catalyst for the Gucci Marmont handbag line the next coming year. Who knows? Since the original GG Marmont logo was released and designed in the 1970s, it has been re-released and updated and modernized somewhat, but the same look and feel of the original GG Marmont logo does remain intact. So let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the history behind the Saint Laurent Lulu Bag. Now the Saint Laurent Lulu Bag originally debuted and was released in the spring season of 2017, and this handbag line was designed by Anthony Vaccarello. Now don't quote me on this, I could be wrong, but I do remember reading that the original YSL logo was designed in the 1970s. Something interesting to note about the Saint Laurent logo was that it was originally designed also in the 1970s and even through a lot of changes with the fashion house, different designers that have come in, the original YSL logo has remained intact and remains just as iconic and chic and well-known and well-loved today as it was when it was originally designed. I personally love the logo. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very timeless and classic and chic. I'm really glad that they did keep the original YSL logo intact even through all the changes that the fashion house has gone through because I do think that the original logo is beautiful on all of their handbags and small leather goods. Okay, next let's talk about the sizes that these bags come in. Gucci offers the Marmont bag in a mini, small, and a medium size. The mini is super, super cute. It is something that is on my wish list. I think it is adorable. Switching gears, let's talk about Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent offers the Lulu bag in a mini size, which is called the Toy Lulu. Now I had this size first. It is really adorable. It is really cute. One thing to note about the Toy Lulu is that on that bag that comes with the leather strap, so it's not a chain strap, 
but that strap is detachable. So if the leather strap that the bag comes with is too long, you can add your own chain, and that is something nice about the Toy Lulu size. But I really found the Toy Lulu or their mini size just a little bit too small for my everyday essential needs. And I find that the small size that I have now is absolutely perfect. I love the size of the small. So it comes in the Toy Lulu, which is the mini size, small, medium, and large. And I can tell you from seeing the large, it is quite large. So let's move into talking about the similarities of both of these bags. I was really surprised how similar they both are when I started really looking at both of these bags in detail. To do this comparison video, there's a lot of similarities between these bags. They're both made in Italy. They both are made of a Matalasse leather and they both have adjustable chain straps. The leather in both of these bags is also malleable and a little bit stretchy, so it's not real rigid, so it does allow you to expand the bag a little bit and probably fit a little bit more in each of the bags. And you will see when I get into talking about each one of these bags and what fits, each of these bags are very, very comparable in size. Now I think it's finally time for me to pull out the bags and give you guys some eye candy and let's talk about the similarities and differences. Starting with the Saint Laurent Lulu bag and it comes in the iconic Saint Laurent dust bag. Now one thing I have to say about Saint Laurent as a fashion house, their dust bags feel so, so luxurious. I just really like their dust bags. They're really thick and they're just, they feel really high quality and really substantial. I really like the Saint Laurent dust bags. So here's this bag, it's just gorgeous. I got the black on the Saint Laurent website, it is just called black. It's black calfskin leather with the black hardware. And you can see on the back, it's just got that beautiful wide detailing that is iconic to the Saint Laurent fashion house. And this particular bag is a front flap closure. Moving on to the Gucci Marmont bag. I did buy both of these bags on the pre-love market and I will talk about that in a little bit. For my Gucci Marmont bag, I have this dust bag which I purchased separately, it was brand new. And this particular bag came as a full set with everything, box, receipt, and the bag, everything except for the dust bag. Now I have a ton of dust bags. I really didn't need to buy a dust bag for this, but I feel like this bag is so special and such a beautiful bag. I wanted it to have its own Gucci dust bag. When I saw this dust bag, I really liked it. It was brand new, it had never been used, and it's like this dark chocolate brown. It's really soft feeling, and I just love it, and it fits my Gucci Marmont in a size small perfectly. I own the Gucci Marmont in the size small with the black, calfskin chevron quilted leather and it also does have the antique gold brushed hardware which I really love I think it's very very pretty and then on the back of this bag you guys probably know this it has the iconic heart on the back now to be honest I kind of wish it did have the GG logo that comes on the Marmont camera bag but I am dealing with the heart it's fine it's not a big deal but this is a beautiful bag both of these bags are really soft Neither one of these bags does have a back pocket. That is one thing that I wish I could change about both of these bags because I love handbags that do have a back pocket, whether it closes or it's open. That's just something I really like. It's not a total deal breaker for me on a handbag. I don't have to have a handbag that has a back pocket, as you can see, because neither of these do, but it is something I really like, so that is something I wish was a little bit different on both of these bags. But overall, that's the outside of both of these bags. I will put the dimensions of each bag and the strap drop information in the description box below, and I will also link it on the screen for you so you can see it on the screen as well. And you'll see that size-wise, they are incredibly similar. Another thing that makes these bags really similar is their price point. Now, when I'm talking about price point, I'm talking about the retail price from the official websites because you can get both of these bags on sale at different sites and we'll talk about that in a minute. But on Gucci's official website, the Gucci Marmont Manalasse in the size small retails for $2,100. And on Saint Laurent's official website, the Saint Laurent Lulu bag in the size small retails for $2,050. If you're looking at buying either of these bags from the official websites, you can see that there's only a $50 difference in price. So again, 
very similar in price point as well. Now let's talk about some of the differences in each bag. The Gucci Marmont bag that I have has a chevron quilted pattern on the front, so the detailing of each bag and the look of each bag is different. Now even though both of these bags are front flap closure bags, they do work just a little bit differently. On the Gucci Marmont bag, you do have a little button under the flap, you push it up and then you can open the bag. I currently am not using this bag, I do have it stuffed with air paper. The interior of the Gucci Marmont bag is a microfiber lining. It is a light interior and it does have one back zip pocket. In this particular bag, I do actually have a base shaper to just hold the shape of the bag a little bit because the leather is kind of soft and one of the downfalls of this particular bag can be sagging on the bottom. But this is a gorgeous bag. I really like it, really easy to get in and out of. Now let's look at the Lulu bag. This bag is a lot heavier because I'm currently using it and I'll show you what's in my bag in a minute. If I had to give you my opinion on the leather of both bags, I would say that this leather on the Saint Laurent Lulu bag looks and feels just slightly more luxurious than the Gucci Marmont. However, I would say that the leather on the Gucci Marmont bag is probably a little bit more durable. So depending on what you want the bag for and how you're gonna be using it, that might be something to consider. I do think a lot more about the uses of this bag and where I'm gonna be wearing it because I do feel like the leather on this particular bag is more delicate, it is softer. Now, with both of these bags, I believe that you can just kind of buff out scratches with your finger as long as it's not too deep of a scratch. Thankfully, I don't have marks on either one of these bags. As you can see with the Lulu bag, it is also a front flap closure bag. However, with this bag, it just is a button closure. Now one downfall of both of these bags is that when the bags are empty because the leather is so soft and squishy on both of the bags, it can be kind of challenging to close the bag because you kind of have to press in and find the closure. I would say it's slightly more challenging on the Saint Laurent bag because it's a button closure as opposed to the type of closure that's on the Marmont bag, but it's a very slight difference. The main differences of both of these bags to me are going to be the look and feel of the leather on the outside, the way the hardware looks, and the interior. So because I'm currently using this particular bag as my handbag, you won't be able to see it quite as well, but in this bag, it is divided into three separate compartments. Now part of me kind of wishes it wasn't because I do think it would offer a little bit more room if it didn't have that middle zip compartment. If you can see that but I don't really mind it because even with that I fit everything that I need to in here and sometimes I keep bank statements or sensitive information that I've written down in the zip compartment that I don't want to put in my wallet or I don't want loose in my bag so that's currently what I'm using the zip compartment for the lining in this bag is a girl green lining as opposed to the microfiber suede like lining that's in the Gucci Marmont bag. Now I do think that the lining in the Gucci Marmont bag feels a lot more luxurious than the lining in this bag. So I would say that the exterior of the Saint Laurent bag looks a little bit more luxurious and feels a little bit more luxurious than the Gucci Marmont. However, I would say that the interior of the bag feels more luxurious on the Gucci Marmont than it does on the Saint Laurent bag. So that's just my two cents. It doesn't really bother me that much. One downfall of the interior lining for me on the Gucci Marmont bag is the color. It is really light. And while I like that because I do think it does make it really easy to see your items inside the bag, I'm kind of wondering if I'm gonna struggle to keep the lining looking clean. However, I never have anything loose in my bag. All of the things that I keep in my bag are compartmentalized in other pouches. So hopefully I'll be able to keep it clean. But to me, that's definitely not a deal breaker. Now, let's move into what I have in this bag and what fits. So I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. I have a pair of sunglasses, and I did talk about this company before. I found it on social media. These are the sunglasses I have in that case. And I really like these. Sometimes I like the frames that are thicker and this kind of material because I just feel like they're a little bit more hard wearing. So, my sunglasses. 
I work professionally as a personal trainer and group exercise instructor, so I usually carry a little adapter for my iPhone in my bag. So I have that. I have my Louis Vuitton Recto Verso card holder, and you guys can probably tell it's pretty stuffed to the max. I love this thing. The next thing I have in my bag is my Louis Vuitton PM Agenda. I keep this with me so I can write down my video ideas. So if you guys have any video ideas for me, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to do videos on any ideas that you guys might have. The next thing I have in my bag is my mini pochette, my macaroon hairbrush, my milk and thistle. You guys know I've talked about this before. I'm a total sucker for packaging. Are you a sucker for packaging? Let me know in the comments below, but I am. I thought this brush was really cute. It opens up and inside you have your little round brush and on the other side you have a mirror. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like the idea of having my hairbrush contained in my bag and closed so that loose hair that's in my brush doesn't get all over the bottom of my bag. So I really like this brush. I did get it on Amazon. I will be sure to link some of these items in the description box below this video if you are interested in purchasing any of these items. I do also have this other little brush. It's smaller than the macaroon brush, so if you're carrying a mini bag or something, and again, it just kind of opens up like this, and you just take your finger and pop the brush out, kind of like a porcupine, and then it just pops right back in, close it up. So just to do a little size comparison on the sizes, you can see that this brush is much smaller if you want something for a mini handbag. And like I said, I'll try and link these below if you're interested in purchasing these items. And the last thing in my bag is a mask. I really like this mask. It is a Gucci inspired mask that I got on Etsy. So it's very comfortable, very easy to wear, and I do get tons of compliments when I wear it. Again, I will try and find it. I got it a long time ago, but I will try and find it or something similar, and I will link it in the description box below. Now that the Lulu bag is empty, you can kind of see it is a very dark interior, and you can see that center zippered pocket. It kind of divides the bag into two separate compartments, and then you have that middle compartment that's really thin that zips. And like I said, I kind of wish it didn't have that because I do think it would be a little bit more roomy, but it's not a deal breaker, it's fine. Now let me grab my Gucci Marmot bag and let's see if the items that were in my Lulu bag will fit in my Marmot bag. One thing also to mention about this bag is that I did do a dedicated unboxing video on this bag. And you guys, it is a really sweet, fun story to share with this unboxing of how I got this bag. So if you're interested, I will link that at the end of this video and I will put it in the description box below. But it's a really fun video. It was one of the first videos I did on my channel. So please watch that if you haven't seen it and you'll kind of get the backstory on this bag. Whenever I'm packing my handbags, I tend to start with my largest items first just because they take up the most room. So I'm gonna start with my mini pochette. Then let's add the PM Agenda. Then we'll slide in the Recto Verso card holder. Then I'll add my macaroon brush. You know, you guys, I'm really surprised. This is getting pretty tight right now. And then I'm gonna try to squeeze my sunglasses on top. You guys, I have to show you this. Look at this bag. I don't really know if this is gonna close. No. I personally wouldn't push this to close, this is too full. So if it were me, I would take out the agenda. I carry a lot of tote bags to work because I carry files and my computer, so I would probably just put my agenda in my tote bag. Let's see if this will close now. Okay, I did get this to close. I had to rearrange my Recto Verso card holder and put it lengthwise instead of laying it the other way. And then it did close. The top is a little bit elevated. This would be okay. I might try to take a little bit more out of here just because I don't like overstretching my bags, but it did close fine. I don't feel like it's bulging or anything like that, but that's really interesting. What I just did here with both of these bags proves why it's really good for me to do these comparison videos with my own bags because when you look at sizing online, the sizing looks so, so similar as you saw before, but when you actually go to put items in a bag, you can see that the way the bags are designed, the way the interior layout is, really makes it different as far as what will actually fit. And as you can see, actually I felt like a lot more comfortably fit in the small Lulu bag than fit in the Gucci Marmont bag. So maybe I need to eat my words a little bit about the way that the Saint Laurent Lulu bag is organized and compartmentalized. Maybe that is more handy because in the Gucci Marmont bag, I had to take out my PM agenda. So that's kind of interesting to see what fits and what doesn't 
and I think it really has to do with the interior design of the bag. Now lastly, let's talk about purchasing these bags and getting discounts on these bags. Now, one thing about both of these brands, they're not gonna hold their resale value as well as like Chanel or Louis Vuitton will. So that is a downside, but that's also a really positive thing if you're looking at purchasing these bags because I will tell you, both of these bags which you saw, which are in brand new, pristine, perfect condition, there's not a mark on the inside or the outside, they look perfect in every single way were purchased on the pre-love market. I purchased my Gucci Marmot bag on Macari, and like I said, I have a whole video dedicated to that unboxing and how that bag came about, but that bag was pretty much in brand new condition. I think it had only been carried a couple times. It came as a full set with everything except for the dust bag, including the original receipt. The YSL Lulu bag I also purchased on Macari, and that came with a certificate of authenticity, the dust bag and the box. So again, it was a full set. Whenever I purchase handbags on the pre-love market, I want them to be in excellent or new condition, and I want them to have a full set wherever possible. I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on the pre-love market to get as much of a full set, even including the box, if at all I can. Because I do think that it does make the resale value of the item if you ever want to resell it greater for you, but then I just like having everything that comes with the item as if I would have gotten it from the boutique. That's just me, that's just what I like to do when I purchase pre-loved. I'm a reseller on Macari, so I don't have a problem purchasing from them. They do authenticate their items. A lot of the sellers that sell these kind of items have the original authenticity cards. Both of these bags did come with original authenticity cards as well, and they were authenticated through Macari, so I had no doubts about authenticity. Any items that you purchase on the pre-love market, you can pay to get them authenticated by a third party, and a lot of information that you read or hear will recommend that you go ahead and do that, even if it does come with authenticity paperwork. I don't always do that, depending on the circumstance, the way that I feel about it personally, just for myself, is that if I'm doubting authenticity to the point where I feel like I would have to pay for third party authenticity, then I probably shouldn't buy the item because I wanna buy with 100% confidence and I expect and feel like the reseller should have all the authenticity paperwork in order to sell the item because if they don't i'm not buying it that's just my own personal preference that's what i do you have to go with your gut you have to go with your comfort level there is a certain way that you do want to buy resale especially if you're new to buying resale but let's talk about getting discounts on these items brand new now the great thing about both of these brands and both of these items are they are sold at third-party resellers such as Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, and a lot of sites like My Teresa or Farfetch. You will find these items on a lot of those types of sites and a lot of those sites will run sales. So you can definitely find both of these items brand new on sale if you wait and just shop around. So as I was editing this video, I realized that I wanted to insert this quick clip. Clearly, as you can see, I'm not dressed for filming. I wasn't planning on filming today, but as I was talking about potentially getting discounts from different retailers such as department stores, I realized I wanted to mention my friend Derek. Now, Derek works at Neiman Marcus in Chicago, and I first met him back in January when I went to Chicago with my son for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Now, Derek doesn't know this because I never told him this, but when I met Derek, that was the first time I ever got the opportunity to talk to anyone about any luxury handbags, and we specifically really talked about mostly Saint Laurent, and even though it was my first time being in a luxury type of boutique and being able to try on bags and touch bags and ask questions, he was really friendly, really personable. He made me feel comfortable right away, and I was just really drawn to him. I thought he had a great sense of style and fashion, and I really Really liked him and even though we only talked for about 20 minutes after that we did stay in touch through Instagram and you know that's kind of the way I roll if I meet you and talk to you for more than five minutes and I like you well then you're my friend so we've stayed in touch all these months and I've only seen him in person that one time because after that then COVID hit and everything was closed and we were quarantined but we have stayed in touch he's been a wealth of knowledge as I've asked questions and needed different opinions on handbags and different things he's really been great he knows so much about different luxury brands. I do recommend that you follow him on Instagram because he does have some great Instagram fashion inspiration and you can tell that he really has a passion for fashion. Hey, that rhymes. 
But anyway, he does. And it's really cool, especially if you're a guy that might be interested in what the luxury market has to offer in the way of fashion and what they're doing, or you're just interested in maybe getting some information about it. He would be a great one to follow on Instagram. I love his pictures. And if you're interested in purchasing anything, even though he is located in Chicago, he can help you even if you're outside of the Chicago area. So I really highly recommend that if you have an interest in buying anything luxury related that you do talk to Derek because I'm sure he can let you know when the sales are happening and get you a great deal and he can be a really great resource for you and give you some great inspiration and information on any luxury items that you're looking to buy because he knows a ton and he's really knowledgeable. I'm really happy to have met him and I'm really happy that we've stayed in touch all this time and I'm thankful that he has answered all my questions and been a great resource for me. So check out his Instagram. I will link all his information in the description box below as well if you are interested in getting in touch with him but with that let's get back to the video personally I don't know if I would purchase these items brand new from the official website just because I know that you can go to other websites and get discounts and especially if you participate in any department store sort of programs if you have credit cards for certain department stores then you might get points or discounts that way another great way that you can get fantastic discounts on these items through department stores is through Rakuten I will link all my information on Rakuten in the description box below if you sign up with my code you get I think 10 or 15 dollars just for signing up and then through Rakuten you do get cash back on all your purchases depending on which retailer you buy the item from. This video is not sponsored in any way. To me, it's a great feeling to be able to splurge on a luxury item or good, but know that I also got a great deal or saved a little bit of money. So that's what I'm all about. There are certain people that only will buy from official websites or boutiques. And my response to that is you do whatever you're comfortable doing, whatever you feel like your comfort level is and whatever your budget allows. But for me, I like to save money where I can and still get a very good quality item. Now, if you're looking for either one of these items on the pre-love market, but you're more comfortable going with a luxury reseller that has a reputation for this, such as Fashion File or The Real Real or maybe Rebag, a site like that, you can find really good discounts on those sites as well. I know The Real Real does run sales where you can sometimes get 20% off their items. Sometimes Fashion File has things that will go on sale as well. And also Rebag sometimes offers discounts as well. So just watch a lot of these sites too. You can sign up for alerts to be notified when something goes on sale or when something comes in stock. So if you're really looking for an item on any of those pre-love sites, I recommend that you go ahead and do that. That's a really great way to snag an item at a really great price. Now lastly, let me share which one of these items I like the best. Honestly, that's really difficult for me because I really love them both, obviously, because I have them both in my collection. They're both beautiful bags. They are both really similar, but I do wear them on different occasions. I will be honest, doing this video really opened my eyes as far as what fits in the bag and the functionality of the bag. I would say for myself, if I only could keep one of these bags, I guess it would be the Saint Laurent Lulu bag. I do feel like the Lulu bag does have a slightly better resale value than the Gucci Marmont bag. There is some debate about the Marmont bag. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people feel like it's outdated or it's not going to be in style or it's really trendy. I do feel like the Marmont bag is a trendy bag that veers more towards a classic style. I love it so I will continue to wear it even if it's not popular or in fashion anymore just because I like it because I'm comfortable to do me and do what I like regardless of trends or fashion and I do really like that bag. I find it super comfortable to wear. Both have amazing chain straps that are really wonderful. I do find that the Lulu bag is slightly more versatile in my collection just because it doesn't have either gold or silver hardware so I can wear it with both. But they both serve a very specific purpose in my collection and I feel really fortunate and lucky to have both bags. I think they're both beautiful. I do think that both of these bags can be gotten for a great deal either on the brand new or on the pre-love market. I apologize for the length of this video. I know that it did get to be quite lengthy, but I do hope that you found it informative and helpful if you are looking to purchase either one of these bags. Let me know in the comments below, do you own one or both of these bags? Do you love them? What do you like best about them? What don't you like? 
Let me know, are you looking to purchase one or both of these bags? I would love to hear from you in the comments below and don't forget to like this video if you do like it and don't forget to share it with someone that would love the contents. Thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in my next video and remember that beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself and confidence is the most important accessory that you can wear.